Welcome to your second tutorial in XHTML. Today, we will be discussing text and basic things that you can do with it. So, as I showed you at the uh, end of the last video, if you just type something in within your body tags, like the word hi, it will appear on your website as such. But, of course, that alone yeah, doesn't really cut it for a professional looking website, does it? So, let's see what we can do with it. Uh, a basic thing to remember is you never, it's very unprofessional to leave text like this between body tags. It's always safer to keep it between what are called paragraph tags. And the paragraph tags, it's just the P, standing for paragraph. And of course, we have the end P on the other end. So clicking save, it shouldn't really do much. Eh, move down a little bit, but it, it doesn't do anything really. So, um, different things that you might be thinking about, different styles. You might be thinking about bold, underlined, italicized, very basic things. These are probably uh, tags that you're familiar with, that you've probably seen before. And it's just simple B, I, and U. So let's try that out. So we have bold tags with a B. And there it is, there it's bold. A corresponding tag to the bold tag is known as the strong tag, as you'll see here. It does the same thing, it keeps it bold. Additional, and another tag that we can add in is the italics, or um, italicizing the words. So we add in some I tags, and now it's bold and italicized since we have both of them in there. Again, an alternative tag to the itali italics tags is emphasis, which is just EM. As you'll see, there should be no change. No change. And the last tag here to learn are the underline tags. There's actually one more tag I'll teach you in a, in a moment for text. Mm, these are the underline tags. Now all three should be in use. Oh, there we go. Now, of course, when you might be thinking about, well, how do you change the font size? Or if you're thinking about having a title for your web page, you don't want it to be this small text, right? So you can use what are called header tags. Now don't get these confused with these head tags up here. Um, header tags is where you can change the P to different corresponding values for a header tag. So if you use H1, and at the end here, whoops, end with H1, these will be the biggest. These, this is going to be huge. At least it should be. Yeah, that's it's pretty big. Let me use the basic uh, text hello world that us programmers typically start out with. Ah, there it is. And you can change the size from 1 to 6. So 2, as you can imagine, will be a little smaller. So with it saved, ah, yep, it shrunk. And it goes all the way to H6. So if we try out H6, It, I think it's roughly the same size as normal text. Oh, no, no, it's actually smaller. That's really tiny. That's a good thing it's bold. Now, you might be thinking, well, great title and all, but I don't really want it to the left. I want it to the right. Or maybe I want it in the center. And I guess center makes more sense than right, doesn't it? Now, the following property I'm going to show you for the header tags can also be applied for the paragraph tags as well. So within the P tag or the H whatever tag, you can type in a line equals then a pair of parentheses. Then within the parentheses, you can use the same options as available in a simple text, um, text editor like Microsoft Word. There might be left, right, center, and justify. All four work here. So if I type in center, 
Uh, where is it? There it is. It's now in the center. And as you might have seen, I changed it back to H1. So it's big again. You can also change it to the right as well. And I hope that's on your screen. You should probably, yeah, yeah, I think you, yeah, you guys can see it. And there's also justify. Um, there's really nothing to justify to on my website, but it's just like in Microsoft Word. It will justify the lines on either side, the margins, in order to make it look nice and formatted. And that's that's it for that. Uh, the last thing I could probably teach you in this video about text is. So you have this long line of text, but how do you get to the next line? Well, I'm glad you asked. Of course, you might be thinking, no, I didn't. But uh, you can have the word hello world, or I'll have hello Adam. That's my name. And when you see it, well, maybe I want it going on to the next line. So between the text that you want to have going on to the next line, you can have what's called a line break and that's just one tag it's not a pair like you like usual it's another unique tag kinda like how the meta tag up here ends with that forward slash this one as well ends with the forge, forward slash and in front of it you type in br and a space now you click save and there you go it goes on to the next line and every time you start a new paragraph, it will automatically go on to the next line. So if I click copy, and then I paste this, now allow me to make this make these P tags so you can see it still works the same, even with regular text. Normally you might think that after this atom right here, this next hello would go next to it. But because we're starting a new paragraph, it will actually go on to the next line. Like that. This hello was not next to the atom. It went on to its next line. And those are basically basic techniques that you can use with text. I will show you uh, uh, more advanced features later in the video series. But I hope this uh, was useful for you.